In this video, we're going to be solving first order separable ODEs. Most people find separable ODEs okay, provided that the integral is easy enough to solve. I encourage you to pause the video and try solving the examples on your own, and then we'll work through them together. So let's try an example. The first thing that we're going to want to do here is to multiply both sides by 2 minus y squared. So we'll get 2 minus y squared multiplied by y prime equals x squared. Now we can see that all of the y's are on the left hand side and all of the x's are on the right hand side. So now we can just integrate both sides with respect to x and we'll get 2 minus y squared. Now recall that y prime is dy dx and if we integrate both sides with respect to x the dx's will cancel and we'll just be left with the dy and integrate x squared dx. Now we can just take the integral and this will be 2y minus y3 over 3 equals x3 over 3 plus some constant c1. Now we can't go much further but we may want to tidy it up just a little bit and get rid of the fractions so we can multiply both sides by 3. And now our c1 will change slightly but it's still just some arbitrary constant so we'll call it big c1 now as opposed to smaller c1 up here. And we can't solve for y here so this is our final answer. Let's try another example. Here we need to get all the x's on one side and all the y's on another side. So let's divide by x. Now we can divide by y and that will give us our separation of variables. Now we can take the integral of both sides with respect to x. Now y prime is this dy dx and then if we take the integral with respect to x we'll just be left with dy. And that equals the integral of 3x dx. Now the integral of 1 over y is just the natural logarithm of y. And the integral of 3x is 3x squared over 2 plus our constant of integration that we'll call c. Now we need to get y on its own. So what we can do is use the exponential function. If we say e to the natural logarithm of y equals e to the 3 over 2x squared plus c, then these cancel and we're just left with y equals e to the 3 over 2x squared. Now plus c is just the same thing as e to the c. And this can also be written as c1 for some constant c1 e to the 3 over 2x squared because e to the c is still just some constant and so we can just rename it as c1. So now we have y equals c1 e to the 3 over 2 x squared and this is our general solution. But we have an initial value problem so we need to plug in y equals 4 and x equals 0 to find out what c is. So if y equals 4 and x equals 0 then that term will just go to 1 and we'll just be left with c equals 4. So our specific solution is y of x equals 4 e to the 3 over 2 x squared and we're done. Okay so for this example we can start by multiplying both sides by x and that'll give us y y prime equals 3y now the square root of x is the same thing as x to the half and then if we multiply by an x it's the same thing as 2 over 2 and that just allows us to rewrite this as 
3y x 3 over 2. Now we can divide both sides by y and that will give us y prime equals 3x 3 over 2. Now we can take the integral of both sides with respect to x and we'll get the integral of dy equals integral 3x 3 over 2 dx. And now we can imagine that there is a little 1 in here. And so that will just give us y equals 3x. Now remember when we're doing integration, we're just upping the power by 1. So if we have 3 over 2, it's the same thing as saying plus 2 over 2. So we get 5 over 2. So we can write x to the 5 over 2 over 5 over 2 and our constant of integration as well. And then we can just rewrite this as y of x equals 6x to the 5 over 2 over 5 plus c. And we're done. So here we have another example. What we can start by doing is dividing by y. So we'll get 1 over y, y prime equals x sine of 3x. Now we can take the integral of both sides with respect to x and we'll get 1 over y dy equals the integral of x sine 3x dx. Now on the left hand side the integral of 1 over y is just the natural logarithm of y and on the right hand side you'll see we have an x times a sign so we've got sort of two terms multiplied by each other so what we should do here is use integration by parts. In this case I'm going to use the di method but that just comes from integration by parts. So I'm just going to write d for derivative and i for integral and I'm going to put plus minus plus here. Now I'm going to choose the term that I'm going to differentiate. I'm going to choose the term I'm going to integrate. So um, if I differentiate x, I choose this one because it will go to zero. So we get one and then zero. Now I'll integrate sine of three x. So I get sine of three x. Now if I integrate that, I get minus one over three cosine three x. Now, if I integrate this again, I get minus 1 over 9 sine of 3x. Now, all I need to do is to multiply these together, and that will give us our integral. So we'll get minus x over 3 cosine of 3x, and then these two minus signs together come to a positive, so we get plus 1 over 9 sine of 3x plus c. So then solving for y, we can say e to the natural logarithm of y equals e to the minus x over 3 cosine 3x plus 1 over 9 sine 3x. Now the plus c, we can just write e to the c, but that's just the same thing as another constant. So I'm just going to write c1 over here. So then these will cancel and we'll just get y equals c1 e to the 1 over 9 sine 3x minus x over 3 cosine of 3x. Now we can neaten this a little bit more and just write c1e to the 1 over 9 brackets sine 3x minus 3x cosine 3x. And we're done. Let's try another little bit harder example. 
So here the first thing we should do is to divide by tan of y and that will give us 1 over tan of y, y prime equals 1. Now we can take the integral of both sides, so we'll get 1 over tan of y dy equals the integral of 1 dx. Now we can write the 1 or we can just drop it. They mean the same thing either way. Now how do we take the integral of 1 over tan of y? We need to rewrite tan of y. So if you recall that tan is just sine over cosine, then 1 over tan will be cosine over sine. dy equals the integral of dx. Now we can apply a u substitution. If we let u equal sine of y, then du just equals cosine of y. So this just gives us the integral of 1 over u du equals x plus c. Now the integral of 1 over y is just the natural logarithm of u and our u is just sine y so I'm going to write that in now. Close bracket equals x plus c. Now we need to solve for y. So to do this we can use e to the natural logarithm sine of y equals e to the x plus c. Now we just get sine of y because these cancel equals c1 e to the x. Now solving for y we can take the inverse sine function of sine of y equals the inverse sine of c1 e to the x. So this just gives us y equals inverse sine of c1 e to the x. And that's our final solution. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, then feel free to subscribe. I make regular videos on calculus, linear algebra, statistics, psychology, and physics. As always, thanks for watching.